Many of the workbooks we encounter in business contain more than one worksheet. And this is the situation Uma has. She now has to work with the Q3 expenses. Let's look at some of the tools that will help us work with multiple worksheets. All the tools we're going to look at can be found in the sales group on the ribbon, but these are quite cumbersome to get to, so we usually use the tools located closer to the sheet tabs. The first thing Uma needs to do is to add another sheet to put her summary expenses in. We're going to come to the plus, just to the right of the worksheet tabs, and click on it. And a new blank worksheet has been added. You will notice it automatically adds it to the right of the sheet I had previously selected. So it's gone to the right of sheet one. Unfortunately, this is not where I want it. The good news is you can easily move your worksheets around. To do this, click and hold on the worksheet tab and drag to where you want it. Notice, however, there are two icons, a little white sheet and a black arrow. If I drop the white sheet now, it will actually put the sheet after sheet two. The icon to look for is the black arrow. When that gets to the right position, release your mouse and the sheet is moved. The problem is starting with a blank sheet is going to be quite a lot of work. Uma has realized that basically her summary will look very similar to the staff expense sheets. It'll be quicker for her to make a copy of one of those. One way to make a copy is to right click on one of the sheets and it brings up a menu for working with worksheets. Four down is move or copy. We're going to click on that and you'll see from here you could move it or make a copy. You can choose to move or copy to a different workbook altogether. We're going to stay with this workbook and then choose where you would like the new copy to go. We would like it to go with the end and importantly, make sure you tick create a copy. Now click OK and there's an identical copy of sheet one at the end. You can also use the drag option to copy. The only difference is you have to hold your control key down. So I'm going to come to sheet one again, hold my control key down and drag it to the very end, release, and there's another copy. I now have way too many worksheets, so I'm going to need to delete a few of them. To delete a worksheet, again, you can right click and press delete and it's removed. Now, when I come to delete this one, you'll notice it has data on, it's not empty. And I get a warning message. This is really important. You cannot undo a sheet delete. So if a message pops up, please check it. Make sure you are happy to delete it and only then press the delete button. Notice my undo arrow is grayed out, no undo. But that's fine, I now have the sheets I want. I just have no idea what's on which. So the next thing I'm going to do is label my sheet tabs. You can use the right click, but even quicker, just double click the label and without clicking it again, so with it still highlighted, type the name you want. Uh, this is Sean's sheet. Sheet two is for Uma and then Carlos. And finally, this is my summary. So this is going to be HRQ3. And when you're done, you can just click away or press enter. Another visual clue you can give people is color coding the sheets. To do this, right click on the tab, come to tab color and choose the color you'd like to add. I won't do them all, I'll just do a couple so you can see what it looks like. So there's Carlos and we'll do one more. Great. Now you'll notice when I'm clicked on the sheet, it doesn't go fully pink. It goes white with a hint of. When I click away, I get that full color. So the sheet that is predominantly white is the one you currently have selected. Uma now has to make another change. She's decided that this heading that appears on each of the sheets is not very descriptive. She, however, would prefer not to make the change four times. So quite a powerful little option we have is to group sheets. This means selecting multiple sheets simultaneously. I'm going to click on Sean, hold my shift key down and click on HRQ3 and you'll notice they've all gone white. Now, any change I make to one sheet will occur to all. So I'm going to come up to my heading and replace it with something more meaningful. To unselect the sheets, click away from the original tab and you will now notice that the heading has changed in all three. So really powerful, but be careful that you don't make changes with your sheets accidentally grouped or you might not like the results. Finally, while my staff are actually entering their expenses, I don't want them to accidentally change my summary sheet. So I'm going to hide that away 
And you may have many reasons to want to hide things. Maybe it's extraneous data. Maybe you just would prefer people didn't see it. Simply right click, come to hide and click. The sheet has not been removed, it's just hidden. And to get it back, all we need to do is right click on any of the sheet tabs, say unhide, select the ones you want to unhide and OK. We've now looked at several tools for managing our worksheets, from deleting to inserting, copying, moving and even renaming. Make sure you have a practice with all of these and then move on to the next video, which will show us how to create calculations across multiple worksheets.